Hello, welcome back to Credit Stop. Today I'll be reviewing the Adidas Addy 2000X W in uh, black and white colorway or Panda. Uh, so starting off, these do fit true to size. I got these for my wife and her true to size woman's five and a half to a men's four. And she said they fit her comfortably. She said it had no problem putting them on, trying them on, and they were pretty good for her. Um, the shoes do come with these extra thick Pro B style laces that were very popular in the 90s and early 2000s. So I think that's a really cool touch. I feel like they're kind of going deep into that ethos of what they want for the sneaker to be very reminiscent of those early 2000 skater shoes that we saw a lot of, like especially the Osiris D3s, the DC skate shoes. So this shoe definitely leans heavy on that design language. Just like we saw in the original Addy 2000. If you want to get a little bit more on the shoe silhouette and the comfort, definitely go watch the video. This one basically is the exact same. The comfort on them is pretty good. It's really solid. You'll be good wearing these all day for like eight hours throughout the day. Won't be much pain. The materials on these do feel to be like even worse than the Addy 2000s, which I didn't think the materials were the best, but these are just hands down trash. Um, they look good, they're gonna like last, but the creasing on the toe here is gonna look nasty with this cardboard like leather. I don't even like calling it leather because it doesn't feel like it. Um, this right here is gonna yellow, which is cool. I think that's gonna look fine, kind of give you more of a vintage vibe over time. I think that will add some character to the shoes. But this like new bucks, or yeah, this like fake new buck all around the shoe is just pretty bad. So yeah, really cheap pair of shoes. I would not recommend you paying full price. I did not, I got them for Adidas 30% off sale, pretty much all their shoes. And I just wanted to give my wife something kind of cool and unique so she could try out some new styles in footwear. But yeah, really awesome looking design pair of shoes. I just wish the materials were a bit better. The craftsmanship around them was really good. Not too many noticeable glue stains. None of the major stitching errors I've been seeing with a lot of Nike sneakers for the most part, and they just look really good. Comparing them to the re normal Addy 2000, there are some huge, huge differences. Uh, way less branding, like there's on the back heel, there's no Adidas, which there's no three stripes pull tab. Um, there's only one thing on the lateral side of the sneaker, the outside to where this one, they have the three stripes, they have the tri uh, trifoil logo. On the medial side, which I'm also jealous about, there's only zero. Like there's just Adidas Originals compared to this one. It says like the Adidas Original has three stripes. They even have three stripes, pretty much with these dots here. So they just go crazy with the branding. And then on the tongue, like that toe down view, you just have it on the tongue on the X, but on the original, it's, it's pretty much also on the tongue, but you can kind of tell from the ventilation system that they're hinting towards it being a data sneaker. And yeah, pretty, pretty overbranded this one, but this one is very subtle. You just get a kind of unbranded, really cool looking shoe. Still love wearing these. These are one of my most worn pair of shoes since I got them. I constantly am throwing them into my rotation. But yeah, these are really cool. Really like the simplicity of it. I just wish the materials were better and pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it at all, please leave a like, got something to say, comment it down below. Exact same traction as well. Boom. And subscribe. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.